We may have talked about this last time, but I, I, I don't think we did. What was your audition like? Like, what do you think you did or said that made them think that's our, our villanelle? I don't know. That's a question for them, I think. But um, I just remember I was on holiday in Barcelona. I'd been to a musical festival, actually, so I wasn't in a hurry. <laughs> but I was on, like, a five-day hangover. And I was like, okay, right, I've got this 13-hour flight to L.A., Good for you. I've got to, I've got to do it. I've just got to, I've got to deliver. Like I don't want to get a thirteen-hour flight back to Liverpool and be kicking myself. So I just, I, I, I knew my lines. Sounds basic, but I just knew what I needed to to do. And then, to be honest, it was it was being in the room with Sandra where it all kind of came together. Like within five minutes of us meeting each other, the, it was just like. We trusted each other, and she gave me so much of her time and and energy, and um, it was at that moment where I, I when I left the room, I thought if I don't get it, I'll be devastated, and I will not be watching Killing Eve. <laughs> but I was I was also like I know that I couldn't have done any more, and I was at peace with that because I felt like we'd done like a day's film, and you know it was. Um, but like it was if really you didn't productive. get it, it'd be totally out of your control. It wouldn't yeah. be anything well, that you Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, for me, you know, and sometimes you get auditions wrong. Sometimes you're like, nailed it. And then they're like, no. <laughs> and then, so you can you can judge things wrong. But um, I just felt like, right, if I don't, then it's, you know, it's exactly that. It's, it's out of my hands. 